Bonsoir mesdames et messieurs, ce soir à Moulin Rouge à Paris, je vous présente en collaboration de Marlena du Makeup Geek ce maquillage. Alors à bientôt Today I'm going to show you how to do this makeup look. Um, this was actually inspired by Moulin Rouge. I've actually had a couple of requests to do a Moulin Rouge type of Halloween makeup. And um, this came about because I was um, emailing back and forth with Marlena from Makeup Geek, as I'm sure you all know her. And um, you know, we were kind of just talking about different, totally something unrelated. And then we found out that both of us were kind of planning to do a Moulin Rouge um, theme for Halloween so I thought okay well let's do a collaboration so anyhow we're going to be doing a collaboration on Moulin Rouge makeup so um, I'm going to post this video and she's going to post a video on the same kind of theme so if you want to check out her um, tutorial I'll have a link for it on the side you can go check it out um, so this is the look anyway it's um, very very sultry kind of makeup. Um, the eyes are kind of gold and then they have like a crease, like a kind of a darker crease here. Um, very uh, defined cheekbones using this very bright pink blush and then I have glued on some of these little extra little rhinestones and stuff and then just very uh, sort of deep red um, lipstick. So that's my whole get up, you can see it there. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I think it's really fun. I think it's really sexy for Halloween. So if you are going um, as something like a can-can dancer, French can-can dancer, then I think this would be really good. So I hope you enjoy this tutorial. So if you want to see how to get this look, then just keep watching. Alright, so I'm first going to apply a light shimmering gold pigment or eyeshadow just over the base of my lid. Um, I'm using matte gold mode pigment. It's gonna go all over the base. All right. Then I'm going to take a pink color, sort of like a pinky gold eyeshadow. Um, I'm using Mac uh, Apricot Pink pigment, and I'm going to blend that out using a little bit of that pink eyeshadow just with a very sort of fluffy, soft brush. And you can take this up pretty high, so you don't have to be very careful. You can pretty much take it all the way up to your eyebrows. I'm going to take a crease brush. In this case, I'm using the MAC 217. And I'm going to put that right into the crease. and sort of just start blending it inwards. And you also kind of want to feather it in on the lid just so that you get the connection with the outer V. Um, on the lower part, I'm going to just repeat that process using that first gold kind of color, um, the gold mode pigment. I'm just going to apply that with a sort of a pencil brush just on the lower eye and sweep it outwards. And then I'm just gonna grab some of that brown eyeshadow and just, um, just connect it on the outer side with the gold. And you can kind of start making sort of like a flared shape with that pencil brush. So I'm kind of making like a wing shape. And you can just blend that together again if it's a bit unblended. Uh, then I'm going to grab a bright hot pink blush or a raspberry tone blush. I'm going to use this one. This is um, NARS Crazed. If you don't have this, just use a very, very bright sort of raspberry colored blush. I'm basically going to retrace that crease with that, um, with that blush just to kind of um, bring some of that color in because we're going to be extending that outwards onto the blush. So, And then you can actually start taking the blush out onto your uh, cheekbone area. 
So I'm using that same kind of fluffy brush and I'm just going to swirl it just right by the eye because that's where you want the most in intensity um, like right at the outer corner just like here and once you have a little bit of color on you can just keep swirling it outwards and I'm actually going to switch to another brush um, this is the MAC 188 just a, um, a smaller stiff stippling brush and I'm just going to keep swirling some of that blush on and blending it outwards so I'm kind of going to be marrying the effect from over here. Alright, so I'm just kind of keeping swirling that. Now the edges I'm going to blend with just a bit of face powder after. But you just want to get um, that color on really bright. Like just use a very, very pigmented brush or a blush and just kind of really bring it into the eye area. And just kind of sweep it onto the like kind of onto the top part of your cheekbone area like this and um, then what you can do is once you are happy with the intensity um, you can take some face powder that's uh, like just your skin tone and then just blend out I'm using a like kind of a small buffer I'm going to just blend out the edges of that just so it looks a bit smoother Alright, so once that blush is done, I'm just going to darken up the crease a little bit on this side, just using a little bit of black eyeshadow, and just kind of place that right onto that outer crease, just to kind of darken it up a bit. Alright, and then um, lastly, I just finished um, defining my brow. Now I'm going to use a little bit of um, gel eyeliner to make a wing. You can also use liquid eyeliner if you're more comfortable with that. You just want to make like a dramatic wing like I did on this side. Alright, and now I just put a little bit of black coal eyeliner into my waterline. I'm taking a smudging brush. And I'm just going to smudge that gently onto my lower lash line. Just like that. And then um, the eye is pretty much done. So then I'm going to just apply mascara. I'm going to move on to the lips. Um, I'm going to line them with a bright um, pink, sort of pinkish red lip liner. This is MAC Beat. Okay, so once I've filled in my lips, I'm going to use this lipstick by Rimmel. This is uh, Pout. It's just like a bright pink uh, lipstick. And then I'm going to just take a bright red one and just kind of put a little bit of that in the center. So for the finished look, um, I just glued on a couple of these um, rhinestones. There's some Swarovski crystals that I got from the craft store and then these um, red little button thingies, these little red, I don't know what they are. They're actually made of plastic, I think, but they go really well. I used a couple red ones and a couple pink ones and I just glued those on with um, duo lash glue. Um, and now for this part, uh, this is just a necklace. This is a Swarovski crystal necklace. My boyfriend gave that to me a few years ago. I just kind of put it into my hair and then put the sort of my bangs over them and then I just curled those. So it just kind of um, gives that look similar to Satine from Moulin Rouge. And then that's it. I'm wearing a corset. So that works really well for this kind of costume. So then you can go out and do the dance. No, they don't dance like that. They go like Yeah. No, I don't know how they dance. <laughs> anyway, if you enjoyed this tutorial, I would be really happy if you did leave me a comment. If you do want to subscribe, I'll be doing a couple more looks. Um, Halloween looks and stuff. Um, and yeah, this was really fun. I hope you guys liked it. And definitely check out Marlena's tutorial. I'll have a link for it on the side. So you can see her take on it. So. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great Halloween and I will see you soon. Bye!
keeps falling down. I can't believe I'm gonna go like this on YouTube. This is just a first for me. Ooh. Wow. I feel a little bit slutty, I have to say. But that's kind of what we're going for. Ooh. King, don't slut it up for Halloween.